everyone and welcome back to episode two of my University Life Let's Play series. Uh, so Emily is back uh, from class. I think she did quite well, which is good. Um, so she doesn't have classes now for five days, which is cool because she's got um, a presentation to do and uh, she needs to submit a term paper as well. Dustin uh, still needs to work on his term paper um, but he's got a class in 23 hours. He's currently um, just downstairs uh, in his little basement room uh, playing some Sims Forever I believe I made him play because um, he just needs a bit of uh, downtime. Uh, he's got his safe and secure moodlet uh, from the paranoid trait uh, nothing beats being deep underground, surrounded by concrete, shelter and pure safety. Bless him. <laughs> oh, he's such a geek. Um, look at his, I do like these posters uh, from Stranger. He's brought a few little bits with him uh, for this room. Yeah, but I would quite like him to um, start tinkering uh, on this, but we'll get to that uh, at some point. He's in desperate need of some fun. Uh, and it's not going to be long before they uh, all need to go to bed. Um, Emily, where are you? I've lost you. There you are. <laughs> uh, she's quite tired as well. Uh, she needs to start working on her presentation. So I'm going to get her to go um, upstairs. And the only thing with this house um, is it's a little bit limited as to where we can put stuff. Um, so I'm going to have to find somewhere for this presentation board to get. I'm sure I had it here. Um, I wonder if I've somehow turned, if I had move objects on and that's why I was able to put it there. Uh, oh, she could work on it there. Uh, and then she'll just have to put it away um, when she's not using it. Because it's just... just I haven't quite made, en made enough room for this house because uh, we've got quite big bedrooms uh, apart from April's bless her. <laughs> Sorry April, it's a little bit smaller. Um, but this is quite a small lot to be fair uh, without going up uh, another floor which I suppose we could have done. Um, and if we need to maybe one day I'll uh, have a little change up of it. Now let's have a quick look at this presentation board. What, is she, what skill is she getting for this? Is she getting research? Oh yes she is. Seems so. Uh, so she reached um, research and debate skill level 3 um, at the, just after the end of the last episode. Uh, she uh, Emily now completes her homework at an accelerated rate. She can prepare for debate at the Electromagnetic Research Archive machine and convince other sims to bathe or do a keg stand. Awesome. Uh, so she's moved on to the next part of her aspiration. So she needs to attend some guest lectures, uh, achieve level 5 research and debate skill uh, and finish a course with an A grade. So attend guest lectures. Click on use university classrooms to attend any guest lecture. Oh, well, maybe that's something we'll have to uh, have a little look at. How's April doing? Because she was studying. Um, so the mail that we got in the last episode, if you haven't checked it out, do, do check out the first episode where I kind of uh, went into a little bit of the background of the Sims that are uh, going to uni. Uh, but we got some mail. And April got four acceptance letters. I don't know why. But the kind of cool thing was is she got well distinguished uh, Moodler uh, from reading university acceptance letter. Being accepted into a large number of distinguished degree programmes has April smiling. I thought it was quite cool. Uh, and she's feeling studious, uh, feeling seriously smart over here from studying. Uh, very good, but I'm sure she's desperate to have some fun. Uh, soon enough. She's hungry. Did she not eat when they did? I'm sure she will have done. Or are they all hungry? No, they are kind of all uh, in need of some food and sleep uh, and what have you. 
Uh, so I think what I'll do is I'll play out the rest of this evening and I'll see you back in the morning. Okay, so it's the next morning um, and I had them eat dinner last night and they've all just left their plates out. Uh, so Dustin's just going to quickly uh, clean up and then he's going to get his breakfast. Um, oh, I forgot to get him to go to the toilet. I've already mixed up the bathrooms. Um, so I think what I need to do um, is maybe lock... I think April's door might be locked for her. Allow access to... I wonder if I've locked it. So I sent April into Emily's shower. Um, lock door for everyone but Emily. Yeah, I must have done that. Um, yeah, and I've locked Dustin's door as well. So I tried to get Emily to go in April's shower just just to make life easier. Um, and she couldn't. So never mind. Um, April's got her class any minute um in 20 minutes time she's desperate for fun and is hungry um but she's gonna have to just um she's just gonna have to go and she'll have to eat and what have you when she gets back i think um unless we can get her to watch uh, something just quickly uh, but i don't think it'll work <clears throat> uh, dustin you're gonna get breakfast and then you can go to the toilet because I forgot to do that. Um, Emily, you're good. You've had your shower. Fantastic. You can use the toilet and you can clean up after yourself and get some breakfast as well. So Dustin's got a class in seven hours. He's done his homework, which is good. Uh, so I don't think Emily's got one now for five days so i think what we'll do is we'll get um emily and dustin to go wander to somewhere on the foxbury lot uh, in a moment um she finished her um oh, what was she doing gathering stuff for the presentation so she she needs to um ask for feedback um Refine and organise it. Oh, I don't think I put headline effects back on. Bear with me one second. There we go. Great. Uh, <laughs> I wondered why it wasn't popping up to tell me uh, the quality of it. So her term presentation is poor. Um, so she's going to have to ask for feedback. Uh, but what she, I'll get her to do is I'll take this with her. Um, if we can. Um, oh no, she's late for class. Don't be late. You're going to be in trouble. <laughs> oh, she's going. Very good. Okay, so she's going to be at class until 9.25. Um, and then we'll just leave her to do what she wants. So when these two have finished eating and getting ready, we'll head on out for a bit. So we just need to wait for Emily to um, finish her breakfast as he does his homework. He did his homework for that class. He hasn't done it again for magnets and mechanics. Oh, we've got mail. Okay. Um, why don't you go get the mail, Dustin? And I'll take his laptop just in case. Actually, she, she's got hers. I wonder what mail we've got again. Let's speed him up. Dude? Justin? What? Why are you stuck there? I wanted to get the mail. <laughs> oh, April's back already. Oh, okay. That was quick. That was a very short class. Oh, she might as well do her homework then. Justin, dude. There we go. So I want to travel somewhere. Um, okay, so what have you got? Scholarship result letters for April. Oh, and Dustin. Okay, so if I just give these to April, she can read hers. Oh, we didn't get Emily to apply for scholarships. Oh, sugar. Um, let's just quickly get her to do that. 
I'm wondering why she wasn't getting any. Dustin's got some more um, fan mail for the the hero of Strangerville. So he's going to get loads of random things. Oh my word, they sent him a foul tetra. For goodness sake. Okay, um, Emily, uh, she was a uh, top of the scout um, after school activity. So seems to have shown success in the scouting after school activity are eligible to apply for this scholarship. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, she can apply to that. Um, oh, do I have to do them all individually? <laughs> Why? Um, Dustin's got Strangerville fan mail. You've received fan mail. It is addressed to Strangerville Hero. Check Dustin's inventory to see what they got. And April's reached painting level three. So we've got a future cube, but we'll just uh, get rid of that Tetra, shall we? And let's have a look at his letters for his scholarships. Um, congratulations, Dustin won the scholarship Building the Future, valued at 400 simoleons, and won the scholarship Brightchester Resident, valued at 350 simoleons. Cool. Uh, so she's going to apply for Brightchester Residence as well. Um, oh, he's got another one. <laughs> uh, oh, what did she get? Did she get more? She got four. Uh, she got the athletics valued at 450. Um, okay. What else? Food and drink valued at 200. Sorry to inform April that she has not been awarded the Helping Hand Scholarship. Okay. And she got the Brightchester resident one as well. Fair enough. His letters disappeared. And hers have stayed in her inventory. How bizarre. How bizarre indeed. Um, okay, we were trying to apply for scholarships. And it's just not going well. Right. Uh, food and drink. We'll get her to apply for that one. But I don't want to... Do the athletics one, because you have to also participate as a soccer team player. Uh, so we need to get April to do that, and I don't know how that works. Uh, so we'll have to uh, figure that one out, I think. Do we do it on the phone? Let's just pause this a second. Email professors about progress. Oh, that's a good idea. Might do that at some point. Sitting on a skill class. Oh, that's cool. 250 simoleons though. Really? Okay, I'm not really sure how she joins the soccer team but I'll figure that one out at some point because we're going to go travel uh, and get them to go somewhere else so I'll see you in a moment okay so I've brought Dustin and Emily to Larry's Lagoon uh, over in the Foxbury uh, part of town and um, poor April she left at home because she's a Brightchester <laughs> uh, student um, bless her um, I think Emily is in desperate need um, of some fun. So we're going to get her and Dustin uh, to play some ping pong. Um, uh, who was that sim there? Serena ba Bamra. Uh, she is um, actually both of their professors, which is really bizarre because they're doing different degrees. Uh, and yet she is um, Emily's professor. Oh, and she's also got Lana as a professor as well. Um, and she's Dustin's professor <laughs> bizarre, maybe it's just they're the only professors in Foxbury not sure hopefully this music uh, won't be too loud oh who are you 
Marouche and And. Okay, let's get see what they're up to. I'll put the walls up in here as well. <laughs> oh, Dustin. Not very good, are you? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Why is he looking puzzled? Puzzled at how he's doing so well? <laughs> Are we still going? <laughs> is she feeling a bit happier now? A little bit. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, I wanted to have a look at her presentation. That's so what have we got in here anyway. We've got some bathrooms over there. Um oh <gasps> cool <gasps> what we got a robot that's a young adult. Oh that is so cool. <laughs> awesome. This is why I really wanted to get uh, Dustin into the mechanical engineer. And robotic stuff. Way I hate it when it does this. Um, let's just put the wall down. Maybe it might stop jumping around. And so we've got like a little food cafeteria area. Now you can order some food. Oh, for free. That's cool. Um, do they both get food? Free food? They do. Uh, if we were to no, we can't get able to even try it. What's she doing? She's watching TV at home. Fair enough. Uh, we've got computers up here. Uh, oh, and some robotics um, workstations, which is cool. Um, we can get Dustin to do that, but I think we're going to need to get him some robot salvage parts. Um, so we'll get him to do that at some point. Emily, why don't you... Bring your board up here and ask Dustin for some feedback. They're still kind of having fun playing ping pong, to be fair. Another game of ping pong is done. Uh, Dustin won. Wow. Final score, th three to two. <laughs> oh, are they doing that down there? Oh. Oh, no, they're coming. Who have we got here? So we've got the Professor um, and Mehdi El Karmani. Okay. Let's get you two to speed up a little bit, shall we? Um, ask for feedback. Okay. There we go. Parse the gap for Bay. Nearly done. Who was that anyway that walked in? Zoe Patel and Fallon Short. Okay. Oh, they became good friends. Oh, cool. Um, oh, Dustin's got a good reputation. Awesome. Um, so, okay, fed back for receiving feedback. Of course, it's also clear now. Emily is freshly inspired to make the presentation the best it can be. And she made a new good friend. Oh, that's so cool. Um, okay, uh, so does she need to refine and organise it? Dude, what do you need to do? You still need to submit a term paper, don't you? Okay, why don't you go... Uh, oh, April's gone to her other class. Oh, that's fine. So it would have been a little bit pointless bringing her here. He's got class in two hours as well. Eek. It's 
so much going on. Um, okay, continue writing your term paper uh, for magnets and mechanics. And then we'll, he'll be have to go to class soon as well. Oh no, from Paranoid Tree. What are they talking about? They're not talking about you, don't worry. Who are you? Lana McKinnon. How's she doing with her presentation? Oh. Okay, didn't do that very well, did I? I really wish there was an easy way to put um, headline effects on and off. What on earth is this? <laughs> oh! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that was, um... Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? No wonder it's Paul. What's with the horrendous drawing? Oh, hello! Oh, can so this is her professor. Oh, she wants to talk to her. Can she? Um... Oh, look, professor, ask homework questions for Thinky Roots. Ask about grade. Ask for higher grade. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You can, look. You can see I'm studying really hard. Oh wow, look at that. That's improved so much. Oh, she's now got quality normal. That's better. Uh, ask for feedback. Oh, she can only ask Dustin. Um, how's he doing, actually? Because he's got class soon. 18 minutes. Okay. Um, I don't know how far he is into his term paper. Bless him. <laughs> Did you see that? He's so paranoid. Oh, cool. April turned in her homework confidently. That's good. Uh, so she's doing okay. What can we get her? Oh, he needs to go to class. Um, what does... What does... Um, get her to care for herself? Is that all you can do? I guess so. She needs fun. Okay, so she's improving her fun. That's fine. Um, how are you doing? Dustin's going to go to his class, dear. And she doesn't have any for four days, so that's good. Oh, she needs to sub oh, submit a paper as well. So much to do. Is she just hanging out, chatting to her? It's like personal tuition, this, isn't it? <laughs> What do you mean he's late for class? He's going. He's there. Thank, thank goodness for that. I tend to say he's late. He's such a a, a swat. He he wouldn't want to be late. <laughs> it's um. Oh, Emily is creative. <laughs> She's um, good, a bookworm, and creative. She got her scouting aptitude. Um, she's got good manners, emotional control, and responsible. Uh, and she's a quick learner. Oh, what's this? Emily's term presentation looks great. She can continue fiddling with it, but at this point, further refinement will only serve to better her understanding of the course without making the presentation any better. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wow, that has changed loads, hasn't it? Um, so it's now excellent. <gasps> Yay! All that hard work will have paid off, uh, hopefully. Um, <laughs> look at the chip. <laughs> uh, hopefully um, that will have helped um, having her tutor there. She can actually... Um, Let's get her to... Hang on. No, don't leave. 
I want to ask some homework questions. I want to see what that does as soon as we got the opportunity to talk to her professor. Um, Oh, let's, let's just chat. Oh, there we go. Ask homework questions. She wants to do well. She really, she really does. You know, so she wants to get the best knowledge she can. Uh, oh, Dustin put in enough effort work to get a decent grade out of that class. Oh, though he saw some other students seeming to learn more proactively. Still, Dustin thinks this will ha help with his final grade. What? Did he not quite do as well in that one? Maybe he didn't. Okay. Uh, well, he's got to do his homework again, and he still needs to submit that term paper. Um, so I'm going to get him to come and just... Is he okay otherwise? Yeah, he is. I'll get him to... Oh, no. Right. Do that term paper just while we um see what emily's up to talking to this professor i wonder if she'll actually learn anything from this she should do really shouldn't she while they're just having a chat and figuring it out, let's just have a little look around. Um, oh, so what have we got over here? Oh, oh. it's not going to like me looking around, is it? What's that? Oh, buy university items, university apparel, get university info on terms, scholarships, organisation events, ah, enrolment and class grades. Okay. That's a useful little podium, isn't it? Uh, we've got a little food shack there. Oh, it's uh, must be some kind of sweet one. Chocolate croissants, cinnamon rolls, sweet bread and scones. Uh, can we just look around this way? Oh, look, there's um, the Foxbury statue. Um, so you can deface the other ones um, <laughs> if you really want to. Uh, she can buy more uni power and you can um, you can deface your own statue or you can make an offering for academic success which is quite cool uh, so what have we got over here I think that's the university housing those buildings must just be where they go to class oh a tent ah right okay this building here is where we attend guest lectures Come back between five and seven for the next lecture series. Oh, oh, that's really soon. Okay. Um, tutor. Oh, can she teach? Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, sitting on a skill class uh, for fitness, acting, archaeology, and all these. Wow, look at all these skills she could uh, sit in on a class for. That's kind of cool. Bowling. Really? Pet training? Vampire law? <laughs> and Salvadoradian culture? Fair enough. Um, oh, you can attend a guest lecture with someone. Uh, visit office hours. Okay. That's where they are. Uh, and I think that's pretty much uh, it for this place. Oh, there's attend guest lectures here as well. Put up Fox Street. Oh, join a sports team. Oh, here we go. Uh, so we need to find the University of Brightchester version of this uh, for April. So we'll get her to do that uh, at some point uh, soon. I don't want her to do it now because she doesn't want to join the Foxbury one. <laughs> Are they actually... Um, is she gaining anything? Oh, oh, was she gaining skill from that? Maybe she was. Um, oh, right, you've just come here now. Um, fair enough. I thought it might give some kind of pop-up as to, you know, but I think she gained a bit of uh, skill talking to her professor, uh, which is good. And she will have gained maybe, maybe a little bit of friendship with her. Um, 
But we need to get her working on some of this stuff. So she could, um, they probably should go back home really um, and check in on April. Uh, but it's probably best I end this part here. Uh, so they're doing okay, their grades are good. They're working on uh, their uh, presentations and term papers and what have you uh, and attending the classes. I think we're doing okay so far. I haven't failed anything yet, <laughs> so that's good. Um, although Justin's class didn't sound quite as promising as some of the others, but never mind. Uh, not quite sure what that one was all about. Uh, but I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. And I really hope to see you again soon.